Hi kids, thank you so much for joining me today. I am very excited to read a story to you. This is a story that I wrote and it's published by Nomad Press and they're letting me read it to you guys online, which is very cool. I have a helper here. I have my Greyhound, Calvin, he's listening too. He's also snoozing a little bit because it's a nice rainy day, perfect for snoozing. But first we're gonna read a story. This is called Energy and this is a non-fiction book. Some books are fiction and some books are nonfiction, and this is a nonfiction book about science. Let's start. Has anyone ever told you, you are full of energy? What are you doing when you're full of energy? Maybe you are rolling on the ground and laughing. Maybe you are running around the yard, leaping and singing. Maybe you are sitting, but not sitting still. Oh, here's Rosie to help too. Rosie is full of energy. <laughs> What happens when your energy runs low? People get sleepy, snoozy, and slumpy when they don't have enough energy. When you need energy, you might eat a banana, or maybe some milk or a sandwich. You might even fall sound asleep on the floor. Or maybe you'll take a break and lie in a hammock and look at the sun peeking through the leaves on the trees. And then your energy comes back. Food and rest produce energy in people. And in cats, and llamas, and ants, and elephants, and dogs. What else turns food and rest into energy? What about the plants in your kitchen window? What about the weeds poking up through the sidewalk? Trees and flowers and grass don't run, leap, roll, and climb. Do trees and plants and grass need energy? Trees and flowers and grass do need energy. They need energy to grow. They need energy to sprout new leaves. They need energy to get strong enough to hold a hammock. When a plant needs more energy, it wilts. It gets sloppy, just like you do. Trees and flowers and grass don't eat bananas or sandwiches or drink milk. They don't rest on the couch. For some trees, that would have to be a really big couch. Plants get energy by drinking water and absorbing sunlight. Just like food and rest give you energy, water and sunlight give energy to trees and flowers and grass. Energy from food is called chemical energy, but not because you eat stuff like cleaning chemicals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yuck. Chemical energy is different from cleaning chemicals. When you eat bananas and sandwiches and drink milk, you are getting chemical energy from the food. Other things use energy too. Look around your neighborhood. What do you see that's moving? Are there cars zooming past? Are there airplanes in the sky? Are there baseballs and basketballs being tossed through the air? Cars use energy to drive, airplanes use energy to fly, and balls need energy to zing from player to player. There are lots of different kinds of energy. Some energy comes from heat. Some energy comes from light. Plants use light energy to grow. Energy from sunlight is called light energy. Do you have a radio inside your house? That radio uses electrical energy. So do lights, computers, and your refrigerator. Energy makes things move and work. Energy is usually invisible. When you are running, can you see energy coming off your body? No. Can you see a tree using energy to grow taller and stronger? No. Can you see energy inside your refrigerator keeping your jello cold? No. We can't see energy, but we can feel it. The only kind of energy we can see is light energy. Where do you see light energy? You can see sunlight falling to earth. You can see a beam coming from a flashlight. 
you can see stars in the sky at night. Energy is everywhere.